Hey, I'm Ross, product manager for the Metal X at Mark Forge. Today, I want to talk to you about Mark Forge's most popular metal filament, 17.4 pH stainless steel. 17.4 is a general purpose stainless steel alloy. It can showcase large amounts of strength, withstand high amounts of heat and wear, and be very resistant to corrosion. It can be heat treated, polished, machined, welded, and we often see it used in a wide range of applications from end of arm tool and grippers, lathe jaws, brackets, all the way from prototyping to end use parts. This filament has a unique combination of three ingredients, metal powder, polymer, and wax. The polymer and wax act as a binder to keep the metal powder bound together during the printing process. By encapsulating the metal powder in these binders, we prevent the powder from being exposed in the air. And this prevents the need for hazmat suits, respirators, and explosion-proof equipment. That makes it very safe and easy to use. The filament feels a lot like a crayon texture, but trust me, there's a lot of metal in it. When we extrude the metal filament, we set the nozzle temperature to the melting point of the binders. This increases the viscosity of the filament and it extrudes through the nozzle and the metal powder is going along for the ride into the part. There's two more steps in this process to remove the other ingredients and ultimately arrive at a fully dense metal part. Like this gripper, for example. As you can see, that's clearly metal. We now have two versions of our stainless steel filament, 17.4 V1 and 17.4 V2. The major difference is in the binder. So 17.4 V1, if I try to tie it in a knot, it simply breaks. With 17.4 V2, we have tuned it to give it more flexible characteristics. So I can take it and even tie it in a knot and it won't break. With all the mechanical movements going on during the 3D printing process, the flexibility of 17.4 V2 is going to offer much more reliability so that when you hit print, you can come back and have a part that's ready to move on to the next step of the process. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, why don't we go kick off a print with the new 17.4 V2? And there you have it, a part printed in 17.4 V2. Next, we will wash and center this, and a day and a half later, we will have a fully dense stainless steel part that's ready to use on our shop floor. Do you have cool applications for 17.4? Are you ready to move on to the next stage of your additive journey and begin printing in metal? Hit us up in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Happy printing.